hey class, uh, I can't be there at school today, but uh, you can still get a lot of work done. You can still do part one. You can copy down all of those proofs. And then in this video, I'll show you all the answers to those proofs. And if you don't like the video, you can go through the slideshow where I have lots of pictures. All right, so make sure you get a lot of work done or you're going to fall behind in all this proof stuff. This is a great opportunity to learn a lot of this stuff uh, on your own um, with my guidance and uh, my help. So do the best you can. And uh, if you want, you can comment on the slideshow if there's something you don't understand. All right, so you watch this episode of uh, iRobot in the action sequence and you learn from where I got logic is undeniable. All right. So this is how to make a two column proof, which I want you to do for every single proof. Um, this is how to write one. If you want to read this, it tells you how to write one. Make the statements in your conclusion. Use facts, deductive reasoning. You've got to have the given and prove. You have your statements and reasons, and you got to number everything. Okay. Um, this is the first proof um, that Thomas made, but uh, he didn't do a very good job here. What is he missing? Well, we did it again, and he forgot to do the numbers. He forgot to write given, prove, and what the statement and reason was. But this still isn't good because he did too many stuff here. So he should have made it smaller and it said subtraction, P-O-E. That's easier. Finally, he got it right. Um, this is Mimi working on problem 14, or that proof that uh, we had up there. And this is the final uh, one. And then uh, this is the other one that uh, we posted, uh, problem 15. I don't think that was in there, but anyways, there's a given and proof. All right, so this one is how to do this problem that I stated. We have the given, proof, uh, statements, reasons, and you're gonna have to read this and follow it to understand how did I do it and where did it come from? And this is like giving examples of how to do it. Okay, so here's one. Here's the given and what we're trying to prove. Well, the given and what we're trying to prove are these, and we have to always set up statements and reasons and always start with the given. Okay, we have the given, and then we take two more steps. We use segment addition postulate twice, and then we're going to use substitution, and you should notice that this is the same as this, and we can use transitive between that one and that one, and we can say that AC equals BD. Okay, and we got from here to here by saying AB equals CD, so instead of an AB here, we wrote a CD and put it right there. Okay, so there we have transitive. All right, we got some more problems being done. Uh, this one was this problem, but let's do a little picture so you, you see the picture, and you can see how to s prove that the perimeters um, are also the same. Okay, and this one was the other one that TT made, and this was his way to do it, and I thought it was a good way. All right, and there is an excellent proof um, and a good example of how to do this. Okay, what else we got here? This problem, um, we had Luke do. Uh, this is the beginning of solving it, and we keep going. I actually thought that step three might have not been needed, but we still kept going, and... Um, I think that this was important to do right here, and at the end, um, we ended up using transitive here. 
Okay, because see how I did 2AB? I went back to AB plus AB because I didn't need to do that. And then we subtracted AB from both sides. We got BC equals AB. Okay. Oh, and then it was actually AB equals BC. So down here we have AB equals BC. How do we switch it? We use the symmetric POE. This problem um, is a little bit different. Um, take a look at this one. Uh, we can find out that from the given, M is the midpoint, and then we found out from the given, we knew that AM equals MB. Um, we followed suit using the segment addition postulate, and we substituted, and then we simplified right there. Okay, well actually we divided both sides by 2 in order to get AM equals 1 half AB. Okay. Um, for this problem, um, we want to solve for x, and that's what we're trying to prove. And here is the solution. That is a longer proof, but it works. It's true. The logic is undeniable. Thanks. Make sure you take care of the quiz, and uh, go to the slideshow if this video wasn't good for you.